When picking out gymnastics floor music, the student wants to think about how they feel out on the floor. I always tell them, imagine yourself if you're in a Broadway show. How, what scene would you like to depict when you're doing your routine? Uh, I tell them to go out there and act. So they want to pick music that fits their personality more or less. If a kid has a lot of energy and is, is uh, way out there and likes to perform, they want fast paced, upbeat music. If a kid is a little shy and a little slower and doesn't move as quick with their muscle tone, then you want to pick a little slower music that'll more or less fit your movements so that the music's not too fast and you're not always trying to catch up to it. Uh, you want to pick music that is appealing to the audience. Um, it only can be, though, a minute and a half long with no words. There's no words at all. Um, you can have drums, you can have any kind of music that you so desire as long as it fits the format of the gymnastics floor routine. Uh, also, you want to make sure that you don't pick something too big for yourself. Uh, level, level 10 Elite Gymnastics can take these huge masterpieces of music and turn them into a routine. But a level 7 and a level 8 who are just starting off with picking their own music and, and making their own routines should pick something a little slower and a little easier for the choreographer to put the, uh, the dance skills and the acrobatic skills into it so that it doesn't all turn into a big mess of, of movements.